Welcome back to another episode of Fear of a Flat Planet, presented by Toyota. Today, I'm with national team uh, pipe rider Brooke DeHaunt. How are you today? I'm good, Liam. How are you? I'm pretty good as well. So, um, what's the season been like so far? Everyone wants to know. Yeah, um, the season's been pretty crazy. Definitely a different year, but um, we started off in Sauce Bay, and then we had um, a World Cup in Locks, and then I went to... I think X Games, so that was pretty cool yeah. to be there again. Um, pretty sick. The pipe was pretty crazy, and it was just super sick to be there. And then um, we went to World Champs in Aspen again after that in the same pipe, um, which was pretty cool. I wasn't able to put down a run there, but then in the World Cup the following week, I got ninth, which was pretty, I was pretty stoked about one spot out of finals. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, and then now I'm in Mammoth. California right now and I'm just kind of chilling with my friends and cruising around lucky looks like it's really warm yeah it's been really sick the pipes closed right now so I'm trying to get my slope game going oh yeah okay okay <laughs> uh so I heard lax was your first world cup pardon sorry was lax your first world cup yeah yeah it was and you'd been in x games previous to this so mm-hmm was it different or was it like, did you feel more nervous at X Games than you did at LAX? Or I know they're yeah, both really I, big competition. I was definitely more nervous at X Games. I was trying to be a little more chill for the World Cup. And yeah, it, I didn't put down a run there either. I kind of was struggling this year to put down runs, but it was still super fun. That pipe's the best pipe ever. Yeah. Okay. So I did a few runs in it when I was there. Um, mm-hmm. And you like, it is crazy. It feels like yeah. no other pipe. Mm-hmm. yeah did you did you see that valentino did the got the world record in that pipe yeah what that 24th, was crazy right? yeah mm-hmm. that is so nuts mm-hmm. that's definitely the pipe to do it in though that pipe just puts you right up yeah it was it was crazy feeling that like the few laps that i wrote at mm-hmm. that one day does that help for like learning stuff or was it just kind I of mean, scary because it sends you like real high yeah i mean i like doing stuff bigger personally because then you have more time i scares me so much watching people learn stuff below the lift so oh yeah yeah. okay okay um i actually want to talk about that in your experience with with your bag of tricks uh Mm -hmm. what was the hardest trick to learn like the trick that took you the longest that you had to you know like practice like all the time but finally you got it yeah um for me it's probably like hawk and flip which is like an inverted cap seven I learned it It took me a while to learn and then I lost it for a while I couldn't do it and then I kind of changed the grab I was doing and got it again but that one that one definitely took the longest so what do you grab now um I grab switch melon but I used to grab switch stale okay switch okay so so front hand a little bit more yeah I think it helps me get it around a bit more okay well that is super sick and uh, have you learned lots of tricks this year? Because I know um, it's been a hard year for a lot of people. I know it's been like, yeah. a great year for a lot of people because there's been no competition. So what's, what's your mm-hmm. experience? Yeah, I mean, this year we had a pretty sick um, training camp in Calgary. So I learned back nine there for the first time, which I was pretty stoked about. Okay, sick, sick. Yeah, so that's kind of the only one I got this year. but And then just lots of competing because a lot of people haven't had the chance to travel, I know. but then Yeah, yeah, definitely. Out. So yeah, definitely been fortunate enough to travel for sure. Yeah. Um, and competing in the world cup circuit for the first time was like, that. Mm-hmm. that's probably different travel year, even yeah. circumstances with COVID and everything for you. So yeah, like, for sure. It was a lot, it was pretty heavy. All the competitions, if, even though there wasn't as many as there usually would be, it still felt like a lot for sure. Yeah. Was it, was it tiring? Yeah. I was pretty exhausted between like, cause where did we, we went from locks right to X games, I think oh yeah it's, yeah yeah we did yeah so that one was pretty a long stretch for me but uh yeah definitely a lot of long trips to avoid like having to quarantine like more than yeah for sure yeah like that's kind of why I came here too because I didn't want to have to go home and sit for 14 days so oh uh, yeah skip so out on that one you were in Aspen before this mm-hmm okay yeah so we just I just came straight here instead of going oh. home <laughs> that's sick I wish I was there right now <laughs> yeah yeah, it looks cool. Okay, 
Um, I know some people like don't like to talk about this sometimes, mm -hmm. but what is your well opinion and do you think you have like a good chance at qualifying for the Olympics at this point? I mean, I, I think I do, especially because there's not that many girls kind of in the running for half pipe snowboarding. Yeah, so well, I think you an advantage, but I guess that kind of yeah. some of the younger girls who are trying to get into it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think my results getting ninth at the World Cup kind of helped me a little bit. And then I think yeah. if I put a couple runs down next year, I should be pretty good, I think. I know you've been practicing a bit of slope, but what is your <laughs> like opinion on the other disciplines of snowboarding like other than pipe do you ride slope a lot have you ever gone and like yeah filmed in the backcountry I want to know about it I mean I, I've kind of done everything besides backcountry like I used to do gates sometimes and border cross oh so okay. I kind of did That's it all but, yeah. <laughs> but yeah I mean for sure backcountry is definitely something I want to get into I've been watching Juliet and I'm so jealous of her with her sled oh, yeah. and stuff yeah, for sure okay mm -hmm. yeah there's definitely something I want to do too and then yeah. do you ride much slope at cop or is it just always pipe because it's usually pipe. i mean this year i felt like i was kind of crunched for time always because i always felt like there was another comp so i didn't really ride jumps as much as i would have liked to so i'm really happy that i get to just kind of do whatever i want out here with no pressure of a competition coming up or anything yeah and mammoth park mammoth park looks so sick right now mm -hmm. yeah, yeah it's there. so good there's just so I'm many like jealous. sick hips and stuff to dip on <laughs> yeah they have a lot of transition in their park too mm -hmm which is good. And then, so that is something you want to go film in the back country, you know? Yeah. That's definitely something I'd be stoked on. Yeah. That's definitely something I want to do too, but it's, it's definitely like the least accessible of. Yeah, for sure. But, yeah. Of snowboarding. Yeah. I feel like you kind of got to make it and then, then you can get on those trips. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's kind of like, it, it tends to be like a later in the career kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> unless you're yeah. loaded and can go on heli trips <laughs> yeah yeah that would be sick okay I have a question for you if you could grab one of the Canada snowboard Toyota trucks and you could bring three people and go wherever you want I want to know who you would bring and where you would go okay do I have to know the people or can you just be like any no, or it can be anyone it can be pro snowboard it can be like okay, okay. Know, it can be whoever Okay, I think I would take the Toyota 4Runner, and I think I would take Danny Davis, Jamie okay. Anderson, and um, hmm, who's, a, who's a good third one? Maybe, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll take one of, my, one of my friends. It's hard to choose, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then where would you go? It doesn't necessarily have to be somewhere you can drive. You can just. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think I would go to Alaska for sure. Oh, Alaska. You would ride backcountry or get like a private mm -hmm. half pipe built in the mountain. Ooh, that's tough. I don't know. I think backcountry for sure. Yeah. Just powder all day. That's sick. I definitely want to go to Alaska at some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then you said you would bring Jamie, Danny, and mm -hmm. more, one of your friends. Yeah. Okay, so our, so I'm assuming Danny Davis for pipe and Jamie being a girl, are those some of your, like, inspirations in snowboarding, those people who you look yeah, up to? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I love Danny Davis's style, and I love that he's just, like, not really spinning to win it, and he's still, like, using his own style to still succeed, I guess, kind of. And then yeah. I really like Jamie because, I don't know, she's just such an outgoing person. I met her a few times and had some pretty good experiences with her, so yeah and, and i mean snowboard. i love watching her snowboard too her oh, style's so sick snowboarder for sure both of them mm -hmm. uh, okay uh and have you done any switch methods like danny like 20 feet oh up? my god i want to i'm working on it i'm trying it's so hard it looks mellow and then you do it and... that is definitely probably the most deceiving trick in snowboarding yeah <laughs> it's definitely. not easy it's all. so hard <laughs> okay um so when you were younger, like I know you said you did gates and mm -hmm. like, racing or whatever, or border cross, were you still looking up to those people or, or like, and when did you, when you started? Yeah, when you were I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest. Like when I started, I didn't, I wasn't like, I did it, but I wasn't like into it. I didn't really watch it that much when I was like super young. Yeah. I really know who anybody was. And then I guess I got into like slopes down half pipe and I kind of obviously started watching it more and then kind of picked who I liked watching the best. 
Okay, sick. Uh, when did you start snowboarding? I started snowboarding, I think, when I was like five. Five years old. Was it at mm-hmm. COP? Mm-hmm. Yeah, first time at COP. Like on the bunny hill? Mm-hmm. Yeah, on the magic carpet. Okay, and then what discipline did you compete in for the very first time? Very first, I think it was border cross. Mm-hmm. That's kind of sick. I've never been <laughs> in border cross, actually. Really? It's and then so you got, fun. You got into racing from there? Yeah, that's kind of, I guess, how I started. And then I realized, like, you can't really compete fist or anything So you're, like, 15. And I was like, oh, that's so far away. So then started doing pipe and stuff. So. Did you ride, like, the, the hard boots, like the ski boots? No, 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 no. I did have a race board, though. I had a couple of race boards, but I never, never rode hard boots. Oh, okay. How are the race boards? Uh, they're so fun they're so fun to carve on because they're like they're pretty stiff and usually like you ride a bit longer than what like your normal snowboard is yeah so yeah i like them they're super then, fun for a so on. how old were you when you decided like no i don't want to do this i want to like yeah go do tricks and slope and pipe how old were you maybe like 11 or 12 i think probably okay and i think then, i was like 12 yeah and then did you join the wind sport team i guess so I, I started on like riders on board when I was maybe like eight or nine, something like that. And then I did board across with them and I did a bit of slope style with them, but I, don't oh, know, so I just really wasn't cross? loving it there. And that's when I was still kind of into board across a little bit. So then I joined like a race team. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. But, yeah, I, just, I was on there for like two years and then I joined like Josh Duncan's like half pipe team when I was like 13. Okay. Okay. Sick. And then, um from there you were you ever on next gen or you just go straight to the next gen? yeah i was on next gen when i was like 14 so like last season i was on it and then you're on the national team this year yeah you're moving up quick <laughs> <laughs> okay that's sick um another thing i want to talk about do you listen to music when you snowboard so i used to and then recently i stopped like the last two competitions I just decided that I was going to try something different and then it kind of worked out better. So now, now I don't write with music anymore. Okay. Uh, do you think? I, well, I think I like it better because then I'm kind of like more in tune with the snow kind of, if that makes sense. Yeah. In like competition scenario, I feel like I can be a little bit more focused and kind of think a little bit more about what I need to do instead of just kind of getting in my head with the music and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, but uh, I was going to ask you also, what is what would be your, like, hype song if you're if you're still listening to music or if you're just cruising by yourself? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I love Big Yeah. Like, that's my main go-to <laughs> okay, um, okay, I like for it. snowboarding. So, really, like, any of his songs get me hyped up. Okay, that's sick. You're going with the old school rap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know about the new stuff. Change the topic here. Uh mm-hmm. What do you think is your favorite thing about the snowboard community? Like my favorite thing about snowboarding? Well, how about let's go with both. Your favorite thing about snowboarding and then your favorite thing about like the community, the people. the Yeah. Okay. So probably like I guess one of my favorite things kind of is the community and the people I've met and the kind of the places it's taken me. So like I guess more specifically just like cruising and you don't really have to think about anything and all your problems just kind of going you're just kind of focusing on what you're doing oh yeah i can definitely relate to that it's well yeah that's like the best when you have the best times you're Mm -hmm. just having fun okay now what do you think the best thing about the community is like compared to like other sports like team sports or like yeah what's that like a lot more serious what do you Mm -hmm. think is the best thing i mean like before snowboarding i used to swim race and it was crazy like it was just so competitive like so much trash talk and oh, not yeah. really enjoyable but like here I feel like everyone wants everyone to succeed kind of and everyone wants everyone to do well and I met some of my best friends through snowboarding and so yeah I think that's yeah and I think that's a big part of it for everyone now does mm-hmm. that in your experience uh does that change when you get into those like higher level competitions or between disciplines of snowboarding hmm. like as far as like my friends and stuff like, is that vibe kind of the same when you're, like, yeah. racing as opposed to... Uh, um, I mean, I was at X Games with one of my best friends, um, and it was it was just so chill. We were just, like, 
yeah. having fun and I don't think there was any really like animosity or like I need to beat you or anything like that definitely. yeah for sure that's definitely good and then what about like from racing compared to like pipe yeah it definitely felt a little bit more competitive and everyone seemed a little more on edge before we we're about to go but and racing yeah mm-hmm. okay well that makes sense I guess there's a lot more people that do it yeah right? Mm -hmm. well I mean in Calgary like I mean in Canada there wasn't as many our races but like in the U.S. there was a lot of people that did it yeah okay that yeah um okay then I wanted to ask you about what you think the future of snowboarding will be like like as these like I don't know if COVID will ever go away I hope it does fingers (laughs) crossed but um as we progress like in snowboarding, where do you think it's going to go? Is there one discipline that you think is going to like become like the biggest, like the main part of snowboarding or Mm -hmm. I think it's going to kind of go like the filming direction, whatever. I want to hear your thoughts. Yeah. I mean, I think like we've already seen like modified pipes. So I think pipes are definitely going to start to go that way. Yeah. Like where do tour was like that. And that was super cool to ride something different. And I think, it really separates people because you can kind of see who people who like only ride pipe and people yeah. who hit jumps and stuff. It really separates people. So I think definitely that way for pipe. And I don't know, I kind of hope maybe slope style goes a bit more like style tricks and who can do like the sickest tweak in like a 10 only or something like that. Yeah. So I've heard actually like, like a lot about that. And there's a lot of people saying that they need to like not do quads but like keep right. it and like kind of go the style direction and pipe is coming in the slope as well with like the quarter pipe hits like yeah hits. so you think it's gonna all like blend together, together. <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i think that's definitely possible because i mean that's kind of how it's going like yeah what was, well, like wasn't it in the most recent world cup that you guys did it was like a full-on half pipe wall one of them yeah so in Korkash yeah. in Switzerland there was mm-hmm. like the first rail and then there was like a pipe hit mm-hmm. yeah like, I saw like, that did like a, a hit and you could like tell who rides pipe and like who's never been in a pipe in their lives yeah yeah it definitely it definitely separated some people and then those jumps were massive too yeah yeah it's a pretty <laughs> crazy course okay I feel like due to would be the first one to do it but you think there'll be like one event that all of the riders compete in yeah, that I think Dude Tour would do it for sure. Like maybe like a, a pipe like shorter and then a quarter pipe hit and then a j- one jump at the bottom and a couple of rails. Yeah, I think that would be sick. Yeah, I, I agree. Because I don't know, I feel like so many people just ride half pipe, but like just hit jumps and don't actually snowboard. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I know you've been to like these events, like you've been to X Games twice, you've been to Dude Tour, I think you've been to the US Open a few times, correct? Mm-hmm. Um, what are your like, future goals in snowboarding i know you've already been to the, these big events that a lot of people talk about like yeah wanting to go through their whole career but what's mm-hmm. what's next for you i mean i think definitely the olympics are coming up and that's a big goal to me i definitely want to make finals and then see what happens once i'm in there maybe go for a medal but and then as far as the other events hopefully like get back to x games and keep getting invites there and putting down runs the best runs i can do and pushing for the podium yeah, so a lot of progression coming up. Yeah, hopefully. And then in the summer, other than that, you skateboard, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, that looks fun. And there's so many skate parks in Calgary. I'm- yeah, they've just gotten a whole bunch of new ones this year, or the past couple of years, I guess. So. Yeah, that looks so yeah. fun. I wish I could skate all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys I'm not have not many skate parks near you? No. No? No, no. not at all. Not mm-hmm. very good either uh i wish though uh anyway i think that's all that i wanted to talk to you about today thank you for joining me um also thank you to canada snowboard to skull candy and to toyota for helping put this on for anyone listening you can go to the canada snowboard website canadasnowboard.ca check out all the new stuff like i'm sure you have some toques some masks (laughs) <laughs> yeah yeah the masks are sick everything and then you can individually donate to any of the teams uh and thank you for joining me today yeah thank you liam <laughs>